I spoke to neighbors of the mother who lives at Twin Lakes Apartments in Half Moon. They tell me an incident happened last night that they believe led to the abduction. The neighbor then tells me that authorities knocked on their door at 2 o'clock in the morning. Neighbors again tell me Nivaldo was trying to hurt the boy's mother and that this isn't the first time they've seen him come around uninvited. There are some interesting updates to the story. The father, Novato, was found walking on Ontario Street. Let me just say this. Homie is a psychopath. All right. This guy should not be on the street. He was let out previously before with the bail reform crap from New York. Leave it to the liberals. And uh, let's talk about some of the details. The neighbors reported that there was some sort of incident that took place the night of the disappearance. And they tell me that an incident occurred last night that they believe led up to the abduction. Gustavo was found safe, but as far as the incident, what exactly happened, we don't know. The reporter asked the mother and family uh, they didn't comment because there's a current investigation. Now we ran into the boy's mother and the family members and they could not give us a comment. So the father, Novato, has a history and I reached out to somebody to get me those documents we'll see if they can get it but according to this news report this isn't the first time it's happened multiple times nivaldo Oliveira faces four charges from two separate incidents back in february there was also an order of protection he was released under the new bail reform laws but failed to appear the bail reform in new york was something that was done in april 2019 and it basically eliminated the cash bail for a lot of different offenses including stalking the court says on february 1st 2020 nivaldo Oliveira was charged with criminal trespass and endangering the welfare of a child court paperwork says he entered an apartment in the twin lakes complex that belonged to his son's mother and stayed after being asked to leave what's incredible to me about this bail reform is that not only can you commit all these acts and walk right out and they just hope that you come back and show up uh, but you can also endanger and injure a child and you can just oh well I'm just gonna take the bail reform court paperwork also says during that domestic dispute he closed his son's arm in a door while trying to stop the mother from leaving next on February 12th the court says Oliveira was charged with burglary and stalking court paperwork says he again entered the same apartment and hid for a while by the way if you're watching the previous video that I posted on this we were wondering if the previous incidents in February it was the actual mother and this child so it is and by the way guess what happens again after this incident take a wild guess after that incident Oliveira was released under the new bail reform laws he was expected back in court on february 26th i mean and you could probably guess this one too he was expected back in court and uh, what happened but failed to appear leading to a warrant out for his arrest by the way don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on all notifications and i kind of wanted to give a couple of my thoughts this is not going to stop people like this do not stop dude is a total creep weirdo showing up being in the house hiding in the dark weirdo type okay this kind of stuff is probably not going to stop the system is enabling this guy to keep slithering out and getting back in there and at what point are they going to stop letting him go you know this guy does not need to be out and free uh, it's crazy, this bill reform. I understand some of the reasoning why the cash list thing or whatever, but these people are put it back out on the street and a lot of these people are committing the same acts over. And the person that truly suffers in all this is that child, man. How much of this, how many years is this family going to keep doing that? You know, I don't know. I, you know, this guy could be stalking her. And she's over. It. I know a lot of times people go back and forth and they keep seeing the person. You know, this mother could really, truly maybe try to be get out of, away from this guy. You know, but something's got to give. OK, this guy is a true danger. People like this don't just stop and give up. All right. I learned my lesson. How is this supposed to help people in these situations when the system's letting them right back out? How is somebody that's in the situation with the kids or whatever and they want to leave and they're afraid and they're finally willing to take that leap, but they know that they got some crazy law in place that the person is going to be able to come right back out and come for you and retaliate against you? Tell me if that makes sense, right? How does that make sense? And with all these movements out there and all these politicians with their BS, how about you actually do something worthwhile?